Hello my fellow crafters and welcome to Inspiration for Cards. My name is David and today I'm going to be playing with something special. Uh, it's the Retro Bus special set that was designed by Esther Glass for Elizabeth Craft Design. And as you may or may not know from January 1st, I'm part of the um, design team or the um, I'm a brand ambassador for Elizabeth Craft Design and then especially the Planner Essentials collection. And this is part of that collection and this is actually uh, uh, filmed before the release um, but it's a very fun set and it's you can do many many things with it and I've been playing with it already and I've made this planner page uh, the 2022 road trip uh, as it is a travel and we travel and we we are going to explore sorry I can't talk today um, it's uh, we're gonna explore 2022 so this is going to be uh, uh my front panel page for 2022 i couldn't show you before because well obviously uh, uh it was the secret um but it's so much fun to work with now what i did here is i uh, used black to cut out these metallic bits and then i used some metallic paste to turn them into silver and that really gives it that old grungy vintage look now what I did here is the same technique as I'm going to be doing today and I've used cord coordinations, not sure how to pronounce it, uh, paper and the core of that paper is slightly lighter than the top layer and when you sand it with a uh, sanding paper uh, it will expose the color underneath and that gives it also a really nice vintage look. So this is a card or a, um, a page I made before Today I'm going to be making a mini booklet and so I've cut out um, using this part of the die. Let me get it for you. There's a lot of dies in this set, let me tell you. Um, I've used this die to cut out the pages for my mini album. I will be cutting out some more but for today's video I've just cut out a view because I will only make the front page and I will show you the back page that I did already. Um, I've got that here. Let me show you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, I don't have it here. Where did it go? Oh, it's probably on the back of the stack, David. So this is the back page I made. Um, these are all dies that are in the set as well. Um, this is this one. This one is the suitcase that's on the other side. Um, there's the frame that I've cut out of the dark brown and here's the background that I've cut out of the orange. The shoes are in there as well. Uh, two layers to give them dimension. The, um, the stamp is in here in the set as well. And this beautiful stamp with the retro bus is in there as well. I fussy cut around that um, and put it on there. So this is the back of my uh, page of my book. And I'm gonna be working on the front. Now, as I said, there are a lot of dies and I'm not even using them all in this one. Um, but this is really fun as well. This is a suitcase. This is the back layer and this cuts out stripes that are open so you can see through it. Um, here you cut the tires, the mirrors, the windscreen wipers, there's a guitar, there's sunglasses, different words, road trip. Um, these are the window frames. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different pieces. Um, it's a fun set, let me tell you, and it's so versatile, you can do a lot with it. Uh, and th that's one thing that I really like, is that you can use it for a planner page, but you can also use it to make a card, you can use it to make a mini album, etc. So, I've got my pizza box here and I've cut out lots of bits and pieces. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making today. So I'm going to start with my front page. And then I've got two pieces cut out here. Um, now, one thing that I'm uh, 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 thinking about is, is using color theory from my past as a makeup artist. Uh, some of you may, may or may not know that I was a makeup artist in the past. And one of the things that I always try to remember when, when I'm doing this is things that are lighter are coming forward, things that are darker are coming to the back. And I'm going to be using that same principle on here. So 
what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to give some dimension using my uh, sandpaper. This is the core this coordinations. So I'm going to give this a light scrub in the middle of the panel. And what I also like about this technique is that it gives it a bit more of a grungy, older feeling. And I'm just doing this without any rhyme or reason. And then fit this white part on again to see the results. Yeah. And as I said, I really like this paper because you can see the lighter parts coming through where I use the sand eraser or the sander, I should say. Okay, that's that. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take frayed burlap and a tool and I'm going to grunge up the edge here. It's going to be covered, but still I like that edge to have this color, because this part will be exposed. And I will also very lightly do the same here. And then you will see, because this part will be darker, it'll give the image more dimension. Light brings it forward, dark brings it to the back. Now with this you see it's already coming together and it's giving it a bit of a grungy look as well. I will do very lightly do the same here. More to create a bit of a shadow layer. Because it's darker there, it'll also give it some more dimension. And then I will use my sandpaper. to grunge up the middle part of this. And that's not going to make it lighter because white on white will be white. But yeah. So this is how I'm going to build up my This is how I'm going to build up my bus. Now, these are parts that I'm going to be using that are silver which are too new for me. This is a vintage bus. Um, and despite the fact I'm using quite bright blue, I want it to be a bit more vintage. So how am I going to do that? I'm just going to take my sender again. Just take it over that a bit. And yes, that will scratch it, but it's, that's what it is. And then I want a bit of a, how do you say that, rusty look. So I've got um, a paste here. It's a metallic wax. It's a metallic wax, I don't know the brand. Um, and I'm going to lightly go over that and rub it in with my fingers and that will give it a bit of a rusty look you see I will do the same with all the metallic parts that I've got here so let's assemble this I've got some other bits and pieces here um, two more uh, circles and these are you if you cut out this part you get two big ones two small ones um, and those are the uh, headlights so um, I'm gonna keep these bright as they are and the same with the logo okay let's get to assembling this beautiful set. 
I'm going to start by applying glue to the back of this. And it all lines up perfectly. Esther designed these uh, in a way that it all lines up very nicely. Now I immediately see that I need to put my whole reinforcer there. These are also in the set. They look like wheels. Next, I've cut out two pieces of the silver that I'm going to be using as my windows. And again, I've grunged them up a bit so that they look more vintage. I'm going to put these in there. Just put some glue on. Now, I did this using the frame. When I cut out this frame, these are the bits that came out. And they fit perfectly. Easy peasy. Next part is gluing on this one. And it's a very easy set to, to assemble. Um, no rocket science. This is what I like. It's, and it's so much fun. It's really a lot of fun. Okay, let's put this one on there. And you can already see it come together. It's beginning to look like a vintage fan. Next is this part that's going to be on the roof. And in this case, I chose not to put on the Imperial. Um, however, you can. Um, but I just thought it was going to be a bit too much. Um, being a booklet, um, but I did put it on this one. See the Imperial and then you can put luggage on there or the guitar or whatever. So I'm going to take this and put it right over there. That's our window frame done. You can see it come together really quickly. The peace sign that's going to be smack in the middle. Oop. The headlights. And again, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just doing what I think looks good um, position wise. Um, No rocket science. Okay. The bumper. Important. If you drive like me. <laughs> now I'm using my art glitter glue for this. Because um, that dries nice and clear, doesn't leave any stains, but it still gives me some wiggle time, and that's what I like. Some of the glues are on there immediately. There we go. Now I've got some small little bits and pieces in here that I wanted to... Oh, I forgot something. I forgot the wheels. I need to put those on first. I should have done that before putting on the bumper. But as I said, the art glitter glue gives me some wiggle time. Oop. There we go. Line it up correctly. 
and that that's the easy part it lines up really easily there we go you see it's really turning into a bus and what I did now you can really see the light coming towards you and the dark pulling it back and that gives it a bit more of a rounded feel which is what I spoke about in the beginning everything you make lighter comes forward everything you make darker goes to the back now I've cut these out um, the whole reinforcers I've cut them out using uh, adhesive packing on the back and that makes it really easy to apply them now what I do with these little things um, when I cut them out I um, it's always a struggle to get these little tiny bits out now what I do I stick it on my finger I'm not sure it's the right way but this is how I found out that it works well and all these tiny bits are gone Gonski. next are the mirrors now I've cut these out of silver as well Come. and uh, there are many ways you want to attach them but there's only one correct way <laughs> let me show you the first time this was the part the only part that I struggled with a bit like, how should I position this so um, this one is going here and then once you get it they line up perfectly and I've said it before and I will say it again this is so easy to assemble um, Esther did a fantastic job designing this for me as a beginner it's very easy and I can just use my creativity and once you get the hang of it uh, the sky is the limit next I've got these two little flowers that I want to put on there just haven't figured out where yet I like them there At the end of the day as long as you're happy with the result, that's what counts, right? Now these little fiddly things <laughs> are the windscreen wipers. What I tend to do, I just get my finger put glue behind it and position them on there simple as that guys it's really there's nothing to it and you can do this with all kinds of paper um, flower paper um, yeah, this is a really nice thing to, to use your pattern paper for as well. If you have these pattern paper packs and you don't know what to do with them, this is a fantastic set to use it. There we go. And I'm going to make a mini album from our trip that we did to Austria. So and that was quite an adventure. It was our first time ever skiing. Now I'm 49 and Daniel's 50 plus. I will not say how much plus. Um, so skiing for the first time, yeah, it takes a bit of doing. It was an adventure. So that's why I think this piece of text is very appropriate. And I will just put that right in the middle. Go. I'm going to take my acrylic block 
and press everything down again. And there you have it, a very nice, simple cover page for my mini booklet. So I'm going to take my pages, put them behind, and I've got my rings here, three little rings. We'll put through. And as I said, I will add more pages to this and I will show you once it's done. Um, it's a work in progress, but I did want to show you how I made the front of my mini album because it's it's such a fun set. It's really a lot of fun. There we go. I love it. I absolutely love it. So you have your booklet with the pages on two sides that you can use and the back page that I've already done. So I really hope you like this set as much as I do and that you like my result that I have here, this beautiful, beautiful uh, vintage fan bus, however you want to call it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to work with it if you are able Go get this set because I'm pretty sure it will sell out quite quickly. Um, enjoy working with it. It's really fun. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Um, thank you for watching this one and I hope to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.